Um, but yeah, I wonder. I don't even know who. Oh, Glorilla. Huh. Let's see what happened to Glorilla. I think. Um. Oh, was that Flo Mini? Like some one rapper like hates Kais and that because like he like sort of dis one of the songs that she put out or something. He didn't react so positively to the song and she took it to heart because Kai is just one of the biggest influencers in the black community right now. If not like the biggest influencer in, in black and black culture and hip hop. Cause he has people. I just saw him FaceTime LaMelo ball. Like what the fuck? That's crazy. He has LaMelo's number. He's just FaceTime out the wazoo. And, um, He's had Cardi B, Offset, not Cardi B, sorry, Offset, Nicki Minaj, um, so many other hip hop people that come on and stream and just chill with them. So let's, I don't know what this is. I don't know. I barely know Glorilla. A lot of these girls are are trash rappers, anyways. So no, what's going on with you today? Hope you're staying. I just saw like one. I just saw a girl that wanted to blow up her friend in her song. And I'm just like, yo, why is the whole apocalypse so real? Like, why are we making hoe music? Like, we don't need hoe music. Hoe music should not be a thing. Like, you sh you shouldn't be out here trying rapping about like. I know guys do it, but like that's you're not supposed to perpetuate the patriarchy in that sort of sense. That like it's perpetuating like rape culture from like the women's point of view to a certain extent that I see. So I don't know, Glorilla. Honestly, uh, she's. I think she's like uh, a sexy red, to be honest. But let's see what kind of test she fit. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this girl. Let's see what she did. Blessed out there. Appreciate you guys for tuning in and for always showing up. Happy holidays and hope you're staying safe out there. So today I want to have a little conversation about this female rapper who failed a test now the test we're going to talk about exactly what this test is all about let me first however take you back to september 2022 okay when i made a video titled women told this rapper to get surgery for anyone who's seen that video you what? know exactly what female rapper i'm talking about the female rapper in question is glorilla who's a 24 year old memphis tennessee rapper who blew up in early 2022 with the record fnf which stands for no oh that's this is the girl <laughs> yo <laughs> of course hood music is back let's go you ain't gotta worry about no fuck, nigga cheating. okay that song now the story we covered in that video hey, she was fixed her teeth, so, though. glorilla at the time of her blow up she was receiving a lot of comments about her body specifically from women a lot of women from girls Yo, honestly, that's got to be sad. Like, it's one thing to hear from guys say, like, yeah, you got to get a BBL. But girls are telling this girl to get a BBL. Like, sometimes, like, girls trying to be giving famous chicks the worst advice and it ruins their career. Like, I think I was watching something about um, Summer Rae. And people were apparently, like, at Summer Rae's peak, they were telling her to get an OnlyFans, which would have blown up. But then it's like... Okay, what kind of like image do you want to put out there? What kind of real influence do you really want to have on the masses when you have like millions of followers? Like, is that really how you want to promote yourself? Is that really what you want to be seen as online? And I feel like a lot of people don't view internet clout as that way. They just view it as like a quick attention cash grabs and don't really think about the longe longevity of the type of image that they put out there. So I wonder wonder if she ended up getting the surgery. It's probably like a BBL or something. That's crazy. Strangely enough, okay, we're talking about Glorilla, go and get surgery. You're too slim. You're too skinny. You're too this. And what? Glorilla back then, she ended up responding to these comments. And essentially, she doubled down on the fact that she loved her body enough to not want to get surgery. So a lot of women on social media were coming out, encouraging her to get surgery and she decided to not budge so much to the point where Yo, she said i don't know what the fuck is going on but carl anthony towns has 42 points at halftime let me say this again i like this is crazy carl anthony towns has 42 points at halftime i kind of want to I wonder if they're going to let this man try to go for 80 points. This is like, what? 
<laughs> this is why I want to watch basketball every night. This is crazy. What the fuck? Well, things on social media. So in response to one of these comments, she said, no, I'm not getting a BBL. I already feel like the thickest in the world. So a bunch of women were essentially, you know, trying to encourage her to go and get a BBL, a Brazilian butt lift. We'll talk about that a little bit later because, you know, she was supposedly too skinny. She said, no, I ain't doing that. She also put up this Instagram story that said, This is my last time addressing this. You motherfuckers better get used to this slim body, green, pretty eyes, and big, beautiful nose of mine, because ain't a damn thing going to change. Y'all can hate yourself all y'all want, but I oh. love me some big glow. True. Hey, shout out. That was one way to stand on business. I will give her a lot of credit for that. Fuck the haters and not succumbing to the pressure. I literally just saw a. We actually have a video to react to about why there's so much plastic surgery in the hip hop industry. And I'm so glad that she was able to take a stance and commit to the all natural look. Although some BBLs are fucking insane, but those are for the girls that actually have more fat to like transfer, honestly. Um, like say you have like, you have waist, you have like love handle fat, fat around your waist that is just so hard to get rid of no matter how hard you work out and bbl is one quick way to get that that waist snatch and that ass fat not gonna lie um it is another class of women that have bbls it'd be crazy so she was essentially you know like puffing her chest a little like i ain't changing that goddamn thing because i love myself i yep. love my body i love my nose i love everything about myself and y'all can so that's the kind of energy she had. And, you know, she was standing on this very firmly. It seemed like Glorilla knew exactly who she wanted to be. And in this instance, she really wanted to just be herself. And she had no plans of making any kind of enhancements to her body. Now, Ooh. this is something I saluted her for because, and we're going to get into this, but because she's a female rapper in hip hop. And you guys know what they try to do to all the female rappers in the game. Sexualize them as hell. God damn. Right? The industry wants all the women to look like literally like dolls all bbl'd up nose enhancements and hip enhancements and all kind of facial enhancements and just all type of changes right that's the kind of path they want all the women in the industry to go down and there's a lot of reasons for this we're going to talk about that a little later but i was of course saluting her and of course there's a lot of women who are coming out saying she's beautiful she looks good she don't need to make any i mean changes. she is she does look good i don't know she's not my type a little too small but like I mean, she's not ugly. <laughs> and there was also a lot of men who were coming out saying the same thing. And, you know, she did have a lot of support from all kinds of angles. But it was a little worrying to Ooh. see all these other women. I don't know what kind oh. of breed they are. Just maybe they're not they're from the... They're jealous. They're jealous. You don't, the only a jealous bitch would be like that. That Like, oh, we want you to... We want you to go down this rabbit hole. Do, I, I swear to God, it's jealous bitches that ain't got shit. Ain't got shit... For themselves and got shit to talk about they just want to talk shit about someone's downfall they just want to watch her downfall not gonna lie it's them types of bitches i swear to god planet but there's a group of women who are trying to encourage her to change herself which is very weird and then that eventually got glorilla's attention and she had to literally like respond to this because the comments were not only getting to her but it was a lot of comments okay a lot of comments of people telling her to change herself and before we move on obviously you know these women told glorilla to change herself like this because they are not happy with how they look and yep. if they had the means like obviously she did to change herself and get all these enhancements to her body they would be very quick to do that just a little cycle like weak weak ass bitches that's all i gotta say like you weak honestly not gonna lie on a bbl though some girls will flourish with the bbl i'm not just i don't think glorilla is the type that like would need that shit or can get that shit. You have to have fat on you. It's literally like a fat transfer surgery. So like, where is that fat going to come from? Like, she's not going to get butt implants. Like I seen, I think it might've been on botch where someone got a butt implant and it flipped. It, she could flip it in her ass. It was like, oh God, it's so the most grossest thing in the world. But like she, when she flipped it, it, you could, it literally became flat. You could see it like that. It was flat. So, um, you know, and like plastic surgeries, no matter how, Someone, no matter how big or small, like they're dangerous. Like they can be dangerous, dude. What th this is like insane. I don't know what the hell is going on in the NBA tonight, but this is kind of crazy. 
logic a term for you. This is what we call projection. If someone says something to you that's not really relevant, like in this case, what they're saying to you actually says nothing about you as a person, but it does say everything about who they are and the kind of internal state that they're in at that very moment. So in other words, people only do and say things to you that reflect how they feel about themselves on an internal level. What they say has absolutely nothing to do with you and doesn't say anything about the kind of person that you are. But it does say everything about how they feel about themselves on the inside. So these women were, in other words, projecting yeah. their insecurities onto Glorilla. Yeah. That's what happened. Damn. Now to the test that Glorilla failed. So it's yeah, been over... What I would say, you know, if you're going to be in the entertainment industry, all I got to say is that you got to stay fit. You got to, you definitely have to be somewhat of a icon in that people want to be like you in some, some way, shape or form. Um, a lot of that can be seen in a lot of people in the entertainment industry that, you know, you are, they already have something that um you want but there's something more that you can that's might seem a little bit more achievable so that you can um <laughs> that they can project onto you I'll, I'll say it like that that they can be an influence onto you a, a pretty much a good one um i don't know we've, we've been talking a lot of good about glorilla like what, what's the bad that's coming in one year and like four to five months or so right ever since i made that video and she fixed her and teeth ever since though. she said what she said it's now been confirmed that glorilla actually did end up caving in the end so no. she did get some enhancements to her body so let's talk a little bit about that. yeah if we're only talking about her veneers then who gives a fuck that's like the standard so many people get veneers but let's see what she actually did yeah oh no way the comments that she got are that insecure she I'm on my board. I just bought some new teeth. Y'all know I don't, I ain't with that overboard. You know, just did a little feeling, you know, just feel the me. That ain't nothing too outrageous, you know what I mean? It's something for my, for my man. Grip on. Yeah. <laughs> it's just where you already failed. You don't get enhancements for a man. You do it for you, girl. Fuck. So the story is this, right? Glorilla has kind of just been living her life, just posting her pics and just doing her thing, right? And so what happened is a lot of her uh, female fans, right? They started making comments about the fact that she looked a little different. Like, wait a second, Glorilla looks a little different, specifically in the breast department. So she was getting a lot of those comments, so much to the point where she ended up responding to those comments and uh, she said a couple things that i want to discuss so she put up this tweet on december 17 that said my titties got y'all in a frenzy i see crying emoji crying emoji crying emoji crying emoji just wait till y'all find out i'm running for president next year hmm. so she was essentially making fun of people making comments about her body looking very different and her titties looking different and she did actually confirm that glorilla got her she got, she got she got her titties done, okay? She decided to get some work done. And yeah. uh, that ended up eliciting a very specific response from people and her fans. Okay. So she ended up doing this, I believe it was an IG Live, where she was kind of ranting about the response she was receiving after getting her titties done. And she said a couple things. So here's a little snippet of the clip. Y'all just be jealous when I do it. They jealous. <laughs> Y'all be so jealous, 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 jealous. That's what they is, jealous. Why is she so, God, I hear, I, I hear the insecurities. Like, I just, I just hear that, like, she's not confident in overcompensating with that voice, with the repetition. Ugh. I'm not gonna lie, it's just not a good look. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not, not, not gonna lie, guys. I'm gonna have to watch Carl Anthony Towns drop 80 points in a game. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on with the Timberwolves. Everybody on this internet be jealous. Y'all is jealous. Yes, they made and my titty saw and with a brow on. They saw, baby. They saw. They saw. They saw. <laughs> what the what? fuck? Y'all jealous. This is so weird. <laughs> you jealous because your titties ain't soft like mine. You mad about my titties, you jealous. You real jealous, cause you know they look good and you jealous. They talking about I'm lying, talking about I wasn't gonna do nothing. So, damn. So as you could hear, she said a couple things, including the fact that, you know, hoes are jealous, 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 
jealous. Jealous. That's, that's jealous. You have to say it like her. Jealous. She sounded like a dude said some of those. She jealous. She jealous. 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 She said, right? On a real though, she was, uh, you know, just responding to the responses the that she had gotten. And here's the thing. Yo, most fuck of the, the haters. Response... This is why my number one rule is I never respond to comments like the only time you ever see me respond to a comment is if someone came into my live stream and straight up just asked me the fucking question like i let comment sections fester they're, they're like their own cesspool if i'm being honest like dude fuck me there's no way i am going to lose this bet how are the pistons competing with the bucks the bucks must be trash this is kind of crazy but um like I, I just to me like every time like people start commenting on yo what's up dm snowy welcome to the royal family thank you for the follow what's good kind of just reacting to glorilla uh so coming to the haters and she wrote the too much of her comment section and decided to get breast implants and now is feeling insecure about her own breast implants for some reason i don't know why it's kind of weird. This is one thing that I always say. It's like why I never respond to comments ever because people are people can just be so weird on the internet. The internet is its own environment, its own world in of itself. And so, like, whenever comment sections start to blow up on some on some of my YouTube videos, I literally never respond and just let some people start going at each other. I'm just like, you know what? I, this is why I don't need to say anything because sometimes people just defend my side without me even saying anything. They're not even fans or anything like that. But Glorilla decided to get her titties upgraded. And if that's the only thing, I don't know what is the big deal. It's not like she ended up getting a BBL. I can tell that she got the veneers. But everyone that eventually makes it and is insecure as fuck about their teeth or just couldn't afford braces and is not going to get braces at 20 plus years old, um, they end up just getting veneers. That's like a very standard thing. But this also got me to think about like Matt Rife. I didn't think about the types of facial... Um, reconstruction surgeries or just like um uh plastic surgery that matt rife has gotten i really do think he has done something to his cheeks his um his jawline and obviously his veneers are pretty obvious but i feel like he did something to his cheeks and his jawlines which gave him that um that giga chat look honestly now that i think about it like and i didn't know the guy was on wild and out that he looked completely different on wild now he did not look nowhere near that he does uh where he does look like now from what from wild and out and honestly he's he's ripped to a point like the man could be on like gear he could be like taking some peds to like get to his type of physique because like again that's not even natural but yo i like i think i follow him on instagram and his girlfriend is bad like he got what he wished for like he's funny he's rich he's famous and his girlfriend and he, he, he looks attractive, and his girlfriend is fucking bad. Like, she is so hot. It's kind of crazy. This is I've seen. He, he, I think he's from Ohio. Like, Ohio is something else, bro. Like, I'm glad the state is forming me into the person. Like, so Ohio is where you go if you want to learn how to become famous because you just, like, start drinking the water, living on the soil, and you're just like, yo, like, I need to find some way to get out of here i need to find some way to get the fuck out of the state <laughs> you like rap then i rap so you can check out my songs travis scott i would say my favorite artist is like um honestly right now is british rappers i've been listening to a lot of british rappers to me they're bringing the game back honestly but if you got songs you can post you can put in the discord we'll get to it after this video for sure actually not people being jealous of the fact that she got work done it was uh, it's not your genre okay what they felt like was the hypocrisy because okay. you guys know i just we just talked about it yeah right? put it in Glorilla the discord was, you know, like a little over a year ago look at the command command exclamation point discord and put in the discord her body and then sometime later she's the one who's being the person who's changing her body right it is kind of ironic but then again this is what the industry does to people specifically women in this case so Let's talk a little bit about that. So first of all, I want to say this. Glorilla is free to do whatever she wants. She doesn't really have to explain herself uh, at all. I don't know. This is like all ties to EDM. Definitely like more. I'm definitely like more on the popular side in general of all things. Like in all things music related. Um, but it doesn't really matter. Like headbanging, 
singing, just uh, DNB. A lot of people have been sending a lot of DNB lately. Um, I don't really care, honestly. I, 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 the title says all genres are welcome, so I, I meant that. <laughs> I mean, if the woman wants to get a little bit of work done, then who am I or you? to say anything about that at the end of the day this ain't a foreign concept I'll yo i think like watch carl yo i honestly think carl anthony towns might go for 80 points on kobe's 81 point anniversary like this is ugh, this is crazy nice i do dmb and color base yeah you gotta share it share it put in the discord put in finished songs if it's a, a finished lot song. of women get work done this is pretty freaking common a boob job or breast augmentation as it's called clinically is one of the most common forms of cosmetic surgery for women and the age distribution as far as when most women get this is between 35 to 50 years old according to staff 35 to 50 damn that must be after the mommy milkers have started sagging honestly and they wanted to perk them titties up like I heard a, another girl, uh, it's literally called the mommy makeover. Like they, you get a tummy tuck and the titties up. Like <laughs> that's now that's an old statistic from a couple of years ago, specifically from 2019. And considering the fact that we live in this uh, generation right now, where everything is so digital and social media is literally changing how our brains work and how we see the world and our perception of things and ourselves that age i think has probably gone down by a couple notches i think just in general for like both men and women social media culture has absolutely like completely messed up our minds in so many ways as it relates to this conversation regarding glorilla well what kind of build as far as anatomy does the most popping female rappers have let's just say that it's Damn, an extremely bro. unrealistic bro See, this is what I mean. These are the type of girls that, like, just work, just fucking work BBLs. Like, this is crazy. Dude, blonde and big booty will forever be my weakness. I don't know why. I remember when I was growing up in high school, like, girls with fat asses, like, were just coming out. And everyone was like, yo, wh wh why, are, why are, what is going on in the food? What's going on with the... In the American food, like, what are people eating nowadays? Why are there so many white girls with big butts? Because, you know, like, I remember when big butts used to be strictly to black, black and brown people. Like, when I just got into high school and it seemed like right at towards the end of high school, when I, gra I graduated in 2015 high school. So it seems like right at the end of high school was like when, like, gr like white girls with fat asses started to really come out and people were like, Yo, where, where the fuck did these girls come from? But you see what I mean? Like, she has some fat. She was able to get fat transfer from her waist to her ass. And maybe, like, I don't know if you can transfer fat to your titties, honestly. Like, build. It ain't how the average woman is built. We do call it unrealistic beauty standards for a it reason. Is because it's completely unrealistic. Just yeah, like how is. the average ah, dude out here ain't built like a fitness model. Well, most women don't ah, naturally have that hourglass figure, snatched waist big ass butt that is not yeah, an accurate not. representation of the average woman it's at not all. And no. i think the influence of celebrity cultures a lot of these public i sent you something unfinished it's the last thing i'm doing i'm still missing the last drop all right you're good you're good figures and just these mainstream figures who appear to have no flaws who get pushed in the media i think that's led to a lot of us having a warped view of what the average you know woman actually looks like i mean you guys literally she see that <laughs> Stop! Blackie, stop showing me soft porn, bro. You gonna, you gonna start something? You gonna start something? You gonna get me banned, bro? Like this, you know, Twitch allows this shit now, so I might be good, but fuck, yo, why? I did not want to watch this for this, yo, God. God! Fuck! God, baby, you wanna praise Ice Spice? I'm literally about to make a shrine of this bitch. I forgot how hot she was, honestly. I'm just right. been so obsessed with win. <laughs> Forgot how hot my girl he is. Look at this. She a baddie, so I give her a 10. She is looking like Mrs. Potato Head, but I could be Mr. Potato Head. I don't give a fuck, yo. There are a lot of dudes who are clowning Ice Spice for the way she was looking without makeup. And that particular conversation has a lot to do with the fact that there's a lot of guys out here who, you know, indulge in uh, yeah, corn. Uh... And they're quite honestly like, damage from that corn has had a very very negative effect on the minds of a lot of young men and so when they see a woman who looks like an actual woman in their mind because they've been yeah, exposed stop. to so much sexually stop content stop the showing this, then. Stop showing this. this man edit it 
this video to highlight the shit. Like, what the? Oh my god. Yo, Embiid has 60. Joel Embiid has 65 points right now. Yo, this is crazy. Damn. Joel will be going off. Yo, why is Chris Middleton can't hit two threes, bro? Yo, that's crazy. Eyes. And obviously, this is all just the mind playing tricks on you and deceiving you. Once you get exposed to something enough, it actually changes the way you look at other things as well. That's now, for facts. Glorilla in this case, who decided to enhance her body, she is a female rapper in the music industry. And they in this industry not only tend to favor women who are willing to quote unquote bust it open for the camera, but they also tend to favor women who are genetically gifted and have that hourglass figure in rap we've True. seen a lot of the you know hottest female rappers in the industry not only promote but go and get bbls i.e a brazilian butt lift bbl culture is really it's really rampant. big right now it's, it's, it's pretty popping now aside from it just being popular it's actually quite dangerous as well yeah. a lot of these procedures I said it, have, it, they're deadly they're like there there are countless stories of influencers out there dying from bbls like no joke. I would not tell my girl to get a BBL. I'd be like, girl, I would be in the gym with you for as many days or as many weeks or as many months as it takes for you to get the ass that you so desperately want. I would rather not have you take the shortcut and get a BBL. And plus, I would never pay for a bitch's BBL. No matter how rich I am, you ain't getting that shit from me. That's on you. That's your body. You do what you want. Shit. If we get a divorce, then I'm taking that ass back with me, honestly. <laughs> but like straight up... Bro, but she is, she is what, who is? Beautiful. Yeah, I know. She is. That was Glorilla. She pretty hot too. I like, she fixed up her teeth. Right. By the way, how old are you and where are you from? Where are you coming from? A lot of women get not only cause complications down the road, but there's literally been stories of women dying yep. from these procedures. Yep. There's a story that went viral a couple months ago involving a 32-year-old woman. Her oh, name was- Oh, shit. He's actually going to talk about it. I think I might have heard about this story, too. Jackie O. She was an actress, model, internet personality, and she was the wife- I'm from Chile, bro. My English is not the best. Hey, it's good enough. <laughs> good enough to chat. <laughs> good enough to chat for you to, I guess, understand me, honestly. <laughs> Life of DC Young Fly, who was an 25, African comedian. nice. But Jackie O ended up passing away as a result of complications from this cosmetic surgery that she Damn. did. And hours before she passed, she was actually complaining that her head was burning. Jackie O, back in May, decided to fly to Miami to undergo the surgery. And like she ends up dying all because she got a BBL. So people are out here literally risking their lives to change their body just to end uh, up dead. Isn't that crazy? I don't know about you, but I do think it's pretty crazy. Now the test that Glorilla was faced with is a test that most female rappers are actually going to fail. And that's because statistically, most people will conform. And the thing about the music industry is, you know, they create these conditions for a lot of these female rappers. I mean, it's like, I can never go under the knife unless it's necessary. Unless it's like life threatening, I need to do this or else I'm going to have serious life complications in the fu in the future. I will never, ever go under that knife because no matter what, it's surgery. And there's always, always a potential for danger when it comes to surgery. I'm even supposed to have... Um, so like I, I've had braces for a long time. I had braces from when I was 16 to 22 years old. And I'm 27 now. So it's really almost been like six years post since I've had braces. And like it, 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 it took a while for, I mean, it probably like took like a year for me to get really comfortable, like smiling, figuring out my smile once I got the braces off. But like one thing I actually do need is jaw surgery. I'm supposed to, a part of my orthodont, orthodontic plan was to have corrective jaw surgery. And it was supposed to like realign my, my jaw. And I was like looking into the, the jaw surgery. It is insane. They break your jaw and then rearrange and then move it to the proper, the proper position. And 
it's intense your the recovery process is months um there are potential for complications you can lose feeling in certain parts of your face you know because there are nerves over there and they can cut a nerve so you can you could permanently permanently lose feeling in some parts of your face so i i just i just got to a point where you know i'm very comfortable with how i look um one thing that i have done is fix my hairline i have the i have the greatest hairline in hip-hop honestly i have the greatest come i have the greatest hairline comeback in hip-hop Excuse me, check my Instagram. Um, but shit, like I don't I would never go under the knife to get um corrective jaw surgery because it's not something that I need. It'll really just be cosmetic only. Where they have no choice but to get that BBL or get some other enhancements because that's literally the difference between them staying at the level that they're at or becoming ultra popular. And by the way, who do you think is funding all this because these surgeries are very expensive and so a lot of these female rappers don't actually put up their own money because they ain't got the dough like that yet whenever you see these female rappers getting these bbls and getting all these crazy enhancements to their bodies this is actually all funded by their record label not saying that this necessarily applies to glorilla i'm just making a general point here follow me because the Ooh, record label specifically yeah, has money that's Be supposed bad. to go towards their image and part of their image is how their body looks and so they allocate this money for these women to go under the knife so they can change themselves and they can become popular as a result of this change that they're making Jeez. so when i say that they're creating these conditions for these women who to are these girls this, God. Road, this is what i'm talking about since a lot of these women are very young when they first sign their deal they're not really confident in who they are yet they're very susceptible to the suggestions that the music industry makes and this is one of them you got to change the way you look in order to who are get these girls the look. And the thing about this is there's absolutely no guarantee that you're going to become popular or going to make it to that level that you want to make it to. Hey, at least you can still make them the only fans at the end of the day. Like, seriously, you might as well capitalize on the body that they bought for you. Like, that's literally the backup. That's like in the back of a lot of these girls minds. Like, no, nah, I can't even see a lot. But in the back, in the back of like some of these girls' minds, like an OnlyFans has to be like the backup. Like, <laughs> however, the promise alone of making it to that place ends up pushing a lot of women towards getting these enhancements. This ain't no different from the industry, you know, kind of pushing a lot of rappers to talk about certain things that are destructive. Obviously, they do that because those are the kind of records that sell. And just like in this case, the issue with that is once you do it one time, you're going to do it another time, and then you're going to do it three times and four times. And before you know it, years down the road, you not only look like a completely different person if you indulge in a lot of cosmetic surgery, but you end up in a place where you've literally completely lost yourself because historically, it doesn't usually end at just getting a BVL or just getting your titties done. It ends with with you changing your face 10 times after that. Lil' Kim is a good example because yeah. Lil' Kim used to be very beautiful, but like now she just looks like something, something else. I, I can't really recognize. So sad because Lil' Kim used to look so good. I mean, and she actually said it herself that she got pressured into getting these surgeries too. And right, honestly, we're going to watch a video. I think this is a good segue to the next video we can react to. Look at her now. After we she listen to your song, the same. we're gonna listen to your song. She didn't really even Dude, her face got busted. Her nose, her nostrils, her nose looked like it's about to fall off. Like, what kind of egg-shaped face is this? Like, she has no jaw. Her jaw is gone. Her lips are busted. Not even even at all. I feel so bad for this woman. Goddamn need to change herself man she was blessed with naturally good looking features but i guess something in her head told her that she wasn't good enough which usually yes yeah, so very right? plastic very plastic and the biggest issue with this is a lot of these celebrities and a lot of these public figures they have so many like young kids looking at them and looking up to them and essentially and they think it's real everything they do and their every move and so when they see their favorite celebrity changing like this over time unfortunately subconsciously it sends a very 
destructive message to their mind. I don't think they have to change their ways in order to appease a bunch of strangers' kids. But we got to acknowledge how much influence they have. And we also got to acknowledge what kind of detrimental effect this is having. Mainstream media just in general promotes a bunch of standards and images that are not attainable for the average person. Yeah. And once we get this imagery drilled into our minds enough times, eventually that starts to shape society at large. And yep. then we have a bunch of little girls talking about, hey, I want to get a BBL so at the age of too. 16, Jesus 17. Christ. And all this really at the end of the day, man. Dude, that's how you get fucking um, Travis Barker's daughter, Alabama. That's how you get Alabama Barker, like straight up. It's just a breeding ground for insecurity. And that's why we have so many people using things on the outside to try to cover up why they feel so bad about being who they are at their most natural state. And you know what? I don't even blame people, man, because society every single day is trying to tell us that we need something in order to feel good. You need to have that car to feel good about yourself. You need to look like this to feel good about yourself. You need to live this kind of lifestyle to feel like your life actually matters. And this is all happening because, what hey, a hell? big part of why society is running the way it's running is because of consumerism. Keeping up with the Joneses. You've ever heard that term? Well, it's a very real thing. And it keeps us as human beings in this rat race, if you will, Yo, where good? we're always looking for the next and best thing Yo, that's going to change Embiid has the way we feel about ourselves. Points. Definitely this not the best n- direction society is going in. I think going a lot of us on. just need to be aware of this just so we don't fall victim to it. Because every single day when you wake up and go on social media, you get bombarded with images of perfection. Obviously, it's all a smokescreen Yo, because ain't Lil no such Shino, thing as Welcome to the live perfect. stream. Thank you for Doesn't the follow. Exist. As for Glorilla, she is what's unfortunately good, what's feeding good? to I'm the good. unrealistic to the royal family. standards that the industry has placed on women. She's obviously not the only one. This is most female rappers in the industry it is what it is don't really think there's a way for us to come back from all this that's how the game is set up yeah unfortunately anyway if you made it this far can you do me a favor and like uh, the whatever. video if you enjoyed this all right that's pretty good we lost Obviously one of our did, bets tonight the end so make sure you like i'm doing pretty good thank you i appreciate you thank you any thoughts on this conversation right here this female rapper failed the test do you agree with me when i say that or do you think there's uh, another side to the story Curious I don't know if she failed it that bad. I mean, she just got a little titty bump. I don't think too crazy, honestly.